We got a special one for you today. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, if you didn't know, today's, well, tomorrow's my birthday. But I work tomorrow, so we're celebrating today. The big 3 1. So, I feel decrepit. I'm, I'm gonna start looking at those old man walkers. I gotta, we gotta look into those tennis balls, too. You gotta put them underneath the walker legs. We gotta get a whole barrage of tennis balls. Cause Big guy, man, will be wearing out the bottom of those feet pretty quick. You know what I'm so we decided to stop for lunch before we review this product. So you're gonna have to bear with this vlog because that's what we're doing. So deal with it. Right. Deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with the vlog. It's my birthday. We're gonna review a product and have fun. So where are we? Velardes. It's a Spanish restaurant. It's really good food. We actually did a vlog here not too long ago when we ate. So, I'll show you what we're going to get. Because I'm getting the same thing I had last time. It was spectacular. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. We're kicking this off with drinks. What are you having? <laughs> Strong strawberry margarita. Strong strawberry margarita. I'm doing what you guys know I normally do. I'm a fan of Corona and Lime, so suck one of these back. Huh? Oh. No, not me. Try it. Thanks, bro. Is it good? It's strong. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Jeez, oh, geez. Yeah, you are going to be tipsy. One beer is not going to get me there. It would take like four of these to get me happy. But I can't do that because I'm flying after this. So one beer, food, we're good to go. One margarita. No. Hopefully good to go. Yeah, that would be bad news. Bad news. Doop, doop. Okay. Time to preload. And here comes our. Oh, I thought, oh wow, you heard it sizzling? That's what mine's gonna be. Really? That's what I got the fajitas. Oh, dude, that smelled fantastic. I got the chicken. Oh my god, I smell it. It smells amazing. Wow. You can have some of mine. Alright, I'm gonna try some of her food because whatever just passed us smelled. I don't know if they great. got the steak or the chicken. That smelled like shrimp. That looked like shrimp. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Look. We got the taco salad. What did you get? Fajitas. I'm stealing a piece of chicken right off the bat. Mmm. Okay. That looks pretty good. That is pretty good, except it's cold. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's been sitting there a minute. Depressing. Done. Out for the count. We're going to go do this check and then we're going to go review this product. We're going to have some fun doing it, I have a feeling. This is going to be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna do it. What's up there guys? What's up? So my buddy says he wants me to review this So we decided to take my beater solo that we got from Alfred that I put the third-party gimbal on which by the way Has not been tuned yet, so it's probably gonna be some pretty wobbly footage, but hey the gimbal works <laughs> If you notice on the bottom, I have this wonderful thing velcroed all the way across it here This is actually called the drone drop and what's interesting about this is you could use this for a plethora of different things. Um, one of those main, main ones I would think would be bait drop. Hook it to your fishing line and take it way out. The whole thing that bugged me though is that even though it was sent to me, it was about $25, right? Which it's cool, it's servo operated, it comes with this handy dandy little transmitter. It said it only gets 180 feet of range. So what I did is I modified it and pulled the antennas to the outside here and on here in hopes of getting more range. So we're gonna take it up a few times. It says that it connects to water balloons. So it'll hold up to seven ounces of water balloons on this wonderful little clip right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip one of these water balloons on the bottom, like so. We're gonna take the solo up in the air and we're gonna deploy it and see if we can hit that target over there. It's probably not gonna happen, but it could be fun, right? Right, so we got a whole thing of water balloons. We went and hooked all these up. We're gonna start with a nice small one, like so. We're gonna get this up in the air. We're gonna see if the camera leans down far enough to actually get this on camera and uh, see if we can actually deploy one of these and hit a target 
from a high altitude. So I'm gonna screen record so you guys can see everything while I talk to you and we're gonna set the camera right on the launch pad so you can see the balloon drop and see exactly where it comes down at. Cool? Cool, let's do this. Ready to get up in the air and see what happens? Yeah. It is so sunny out here, guys. It's extremely hard to see what's going on. But it is what it is. Let's see how unstable it makes this solo. You good? Okay. Here we go. Ready for take off. Altitude 1.6 inches. Alright. Seems to be pretty stable. What do you say? Pretty stable? He's got some compass problems here. That is toilet bowl. Let's see if it's going to toilet bowl anymore here. That's definitely toilet bowl. Let's set it up a little higher here. See if it finds its position a lot. Alright, it's got some serious toilet bowl issues. That's definitely compass. Wow, look at her. I'm gonna take her for a little flight here, even with the compass doing that. Oh, she's wonky as hell. Okay, we're gonna set her down here. That compass is very confused, guys. I don't think it likes that thing on the bottom of it at all. If I let it go at all, it starts this massive drift. It's drifting horribly right now. Let me drop it. All right, you want to drop it? Here. Uh, let me get her up there a ways anyways, babe, okay? Okay. Oh, she's uneven. Holy fuck. Let's center up a good ways. Let's at least try to get her up there a ways, okay? Altitude 190.45 feet. Speed 0 0.18 miles per hour. Travel 160.23 feet. Heading 61 degrees. Signal 37%. We're going to take her up to 300 and let you drop it. All right. All right. 300 feet. Let's see if you can let her rip. There you do now. Yeah, point it at the... Oh, here she comes. You see it? Yeah. Bam! Oh, wow. Oh, I don't think I caught it. But... Oh, you got it on the film. All right, so she easily went 300 feet before she uh, was able to drop. So we've already passed the 180 just by moving the antennas to the outside. However, I'm not sure the compass really likes the uh, unit on there. That sounded like a big fun though. That would knock you out. No, that would knock you out. That's just no. water now. Let's see if the compass is straightened out at all now. Still drifting quite a bit. That's good. That's a pretty good lock there. Alright, well. <laughs> Waiting for GPS. Ooh. Disarmed. Let's attach, let's attach another one and see what happens, okay? You got another balloon there, babe? GPS log. We're going to attach one more to it, guys, and see what happens. That's a heavy one. Got one That's all right. We got a battery to rip another one here. Vehicle must be level before taking off. Oh, Vehicle the clip. is leaning. Damn. <laughs> all right, we got to find that clip, guys. Need GPS we'll be right lock. Back. You can turn that off.
Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you, we did get one drop out of it. Yes, moving the antennas to the outside definitely did help with range. Because we were easily 300 feet. You only clicked the button once, right? Yeah. And she only clicked it once, so it activated at 300 feet by moving the antennas to the outside of it. So yes, it would make a great bait drop. However, let me see it. Pull onto the clip. The problem is, it's making the solo compass go very wonky because it's so close to it. So I'm not sure there's a way to put a shield in between this and the solo. You know what I'm saying? So that it doesn't interfere with the compass, but it was giving the, the solo severe toilet bowl effect. Um, but we made one drop. I took it all the way up to 300. The compass was very confused, so it definitely took a minute to get up there. It kept wanting to redistribute power based on the compass being wonky. Um, but it did get up there and it came back down. So got the solo down here now and uh, we've taken it off. I'm gonna look at this a little closer and see if we can perfect this idea a bit more. But did it work? The answer is yes. However, is it safe? That's the real question. If this is gonna make the compass go wonky on this bird, I don't know what it's gonna do to a phantom or you know, potentially any other drone that's out there. This should not be interfering with the compass. The idea of this was that you can strap it to a drone, any drone. and you can make a drop, whether it's a water balloon or a fishing line or whatever. That was the whole idea. It's a $25 simple drop system. So moving the antennas like this to the outside definitely helped. Let me see that so you guys can see what I did to this one. Uh, definitely got us much further range. I probably could drop a balloon now at five or 600 feet just by moving the antennas to the outside. But we won't know because I'm a little skittish until I look further into this. Uh, because I really don't want to lose a bird to a $25 drop toy. You know what I mean? The potential for this unit is, is awesome. I mean, to be able to attach it to any bird. But if it's going to cause compass problems, I mean, honestly, I don't know. I don't want to lose a solo, a camera, all the other stuff to a $25 toy. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, FPV flying, have a little bit of fun. We're going to continue my birthday, and we'll see you guys later. Toodoo-roo.